Hello everyone, in this video what we are going to do is, we are going to log the failure or success of a copy activity into our SQL table. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. Your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality. The SQL scripts, the source file and the ARM template of this particular video will be shared to the Telegram and the NAS IO community as well. Please do join with the URL provided in the video description. First of all, let's see what is the acceptance criteria. We need to log the result of the copy activity, whether it is success or failure. We need to log both of them. If it is fail, then we need to log the error. If it is success, we need to log the number of rows which got copied. And we need to log the pipeline ID, meaning like pipeline run ID, we need to log it, the file name as well. So these data we need to log into our SQL table. Let's see how to do it. I have created one storage account which has two containers one is input container and another is output container inside the input container I have uploaded one CSV uh, file and uh, there are uh, fewer uh, data inside that CSV and I have created a logic to copy the file into the output container and the file name should be in a uh, processed CSV so already I have implemented the logic in uh, uh, Azure Data Factory for copy activity alone let me show what and all I did. I have created two link. One is for blob and another is for SQL link. So which we are going to use for logging. And this is for copying uh, the data I have created on blob link. And if you go to author icon, under data set I have created two data set uh, which is for copy. And uh, this is of CSV format and I have selected the file uh, here. Meaning like I have provided the file name in the file path itself. I, am, I have selected input container and I have uh, selected first row as header and it is uh, showing the schemas properly. Similarly in the output data set uh, it is of CSV format and I have selected the output container and I have named the uh, output file name as well over here and here as well I have selected first row as header and in the schema as well I have uh, imported the schema. So this schema I have impo imported from the sample file i just um, uploaded the same uh, source file so that because both of them are having the same schema right so i have i have did uh, something like this and in the pipeline i have added on copy activity in the source i have selected file path in the data set because we have provided the file name there right so i have provided file name in the data set and sync i have selected the output data set and i have imported the mapping as well so let me run this once it got completed and let me copy the output of this copy activity so what we are going to do is in our uh, table we need to uh, log this rows copied so this value we need to log in our SQL table as well so let me copy this output let me put it over here so this is for success and let me make this uh, pipeline fail once so that we will have the log for uh, failure as well. So based upon it we can uh, design our uh, failure handling. So in order to do it I am going to my input container and I am deleting it. Now if I run my pipeline it should fail. It got failed. Let me copy the output of this and if you see here you could see the proper error and let me go to output if you click on output under errors you could find why it got failed so meaning like source file is not there so let me copy this error file as well let me put it in a new notepad so we have the logs of both failure as well as success we need to log both success as well as failure in the SQL table. So let me show the table first. So the table have five columns, ID and pipeline ID. So pipeline ID is pipeline or run ID, meaning like for a particular run, unique width ID will be generated. So that we are going to log it into this column, file name. So what is the source file and the status, whether it got success or failure and the log if it is having some error it will log or if it is success it will log the number of rows copied so this is what uh, 
the table structure is now in order to log into this table i have created on store proc the store procedure is accepting four parameters pipeline id file name status and the log and it is inserting into the table which we have created and the parameter value we are passing it over here so this is the store procedure now let's jump to our azure data factory here during success and failure at both time we need to execute our store procedure only thing is that we need to pass the proper status as well as log that's it now just go here we need to execute a store proc right so search for store procedure just drag and drop and let me provide a name to this activity i want to execute the store procedure whenever this copy activity is failed so just click on this and and you will see x mark over here which is for failure just click on this on fail just drag and drop so whenever this copy activity is failed this store procedure will be executed now click on the task and under settings select the linked service for your sql uh, database so i am selecting it and the store procedure it will auto populate just wait for a while it will list down what out the store procedure you have in your sql uh, database and this is the store proc which we decided right so that is the one and here you have option to import the parameters so we have uh, four parameters right so everything will be imported over here just click on import the file name if you have uh, properly parameterized this file name part then you can just use the add dynamic content from here and you can provide the uh, file name part or if you are using multiple uh, files over uh, for each loop so you can get that uh, file name from the for each itself let's say for example you have a for each and inside that you have a copy activity means then from that for each itself you can uh, use pass that value over here but uh, we didn't parameterize it so simply i'm going to hard code this file name because we know what is the source file let me provide the source file name over here Uh, we will come to log later and here pipeline id i need to pass which is uh, i'm going to give the run id only not the uh, just go here and and uh, system variables you will find various uh, options over here which is uh, available by default so these are uh, default values which will be provided by azure so pipeline run id so this is what actually we want so id for a specific pipeline run for every run it will have a unique id so that we can uh, tra trace back uh, the log so i'm just selecting it i'm clicking on ok and status the status we need to log whether it is success or failure right so i'm just simply typing as failed so now log so this is where uh, we need to concentrate on just I'll be going to our uh, failure log. So this is our failure log. And here if you see, there is a separate parameter called as errors. And inside that only you have uh, the complete error, meaning like the file unavailability, everything, see. The required blob is missing. So the complete error is available over here. And we need to log this particular error array. So why I'm saying it as array? If you see here, it is a square bracket, right? Which means this is an array. We need to log this one as well. So in order to do it, if you see here, this is under output. So output dot error. Let me go here, add a dynamic content. Co copy data one activity dot output. Yes, in that output, we need errors just remember this we need to make some further changes in this but as of now let's run i'm just uh, going to click on ok let me run i guess everything looking good now let's execute and see what it is actually logging then we will make suitable changes inside it yeah it got completed and uh, 
the pipeline meaning like the copy activity failed and it went here and it had executed the store browser because on fail we have connected this now let's go to our uh, table and see what it got executed so i'm just going it here if you see here pipeline id which is fine file name yes status also it got logged properly but log we didn't get the proper log right why because if you see here this is an array and we are directly trying to insert this array over here so because of that uh, type issue uh, it is showing something like this so how we can avoid it so just go here under failure just edit this i am going to copy this we need to convert this to a string that's it under here if you see convert parameter to a string so this is what we want i am selecting this now let's copy paste whatever we have copied in our notepad and just pasting it over here we should have only one at at the beginning uh, in case of nested we shouldn't have multiple at so just i'm removing this and let me click on okay now let's run it got completed now let's check in our table see it properly logged our uh, error over here now for success also we need to uh, log right so let me go over here for success we need the same store procedure activity uh, here if you see on success we need to execute it so just click on the activity and drag and drop on success so the green line and here let me provide a name to our activity now let me go to settings from the link linked service i am selecting the sql link and the store procedure i am selecting the same store procedure because the parameter value only going to be changed the parameter is going to be the same i have selected the store procedure and let me import the parameters as well as we did before now most of the items are going to be the same i am going here let me select under system variable let me select this let me fast forward this content for a while now for status we need to log as success right so let me type it and for logging we need to write the number of rows which got copied so let me go over here and this is the log for uh, success because uh, there is no errors and all right so here if you see the rows copied is there so this is what actually need we need to log the number of rows copied is 4 let me go over here let me copy this similarly as we did before output of copy data dot the rows copied we know that it will log the value whatever we are getting right 4 but it won't make sense when you copy the just value 4 right so for error it is showing some error so this is fine but for uh, success alone i need to log as number of rows copied 4 that is what i want to log so i need to put some words as well so in order to do it let me copy this to a notepad and our functions i am going to add a string function which is concat so what concat will it will do is it will just add or combine the number of strings together i am going to type whatever we need in single quotes comma followed by our expression which will return the value of the number of rows copied as I said earlier, we don't need an art in between. And the expression looks good. There is no red color dot at the end. Let me click on OK. 
now we need to check for success so let me upload the file in our dot i'm going to fast forward this content the file is now uploaded let me jump back to azure data factory now let's run it got completed now if you see the success store browser got executed meaning like the success flow got executed now let's check in our table the third entry third run id logged properly file name success as well as it copied the number of rows number of rows copied four if you want some spacing you just put some spacing over there that's it and that's it on this video thank you for watching thank you for watching this video please hit subscribe and follow me on linkedin to stay connected